Today, you're going to get to see three demos. It's a sneak peek of three demos from our technology collaboration forum we call October Tech. We are going to show you a new way to use advanced radar tech in security cameras to improve both power consumption and threat reporting. We're also going to show a technology loaded future induction cooktop concept. And finally, the future of simplified robotics motor control is here for those who want to build those connected robots of the future. So make sure to comment on the video, check out the links, and let's get started. Tanya, you've got a big demo here. Tell me about it. What is all this? So this is our smart uh, camera solution demo, okay. which utilizes one of Infineon's connected processors that offers Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and MCU internally, okay. plus our radar sensor, 60 gigahertz radar sensor, that would basically be um, in combination with an algorithm running on that CPs or connected processors okay. MCU that allows us to detect and zone individuals in the field of view. So we're trying to go against PIR or passive infrared sensors. And those kinds of sensors literally detect anything and everything that is moving within the designated field of view. It consumes more energy because it turns off turns on more often than it should. The camera turns on. The so you detect something does. and the camera flips on, says what is Exactly. Okay. And whether that is a moving plant or a tree or an animal that's running through the field of view, not really what you want to have when you're trying to save battery power on a battery operated system. Got it. And this radar system you've got here is able to ignore the tree. That is correct. We are running that in combination with a robust algorithm that performs clutter rejection. And so that algo in combination with the radar sensor would allow us to literally ignore the plant, but not ignore when an individual is stepping into the zone that is being surveyed. Very cool. Well, that's great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, Jason, we're here at Demo Day, and it sounds like this was a very popular demo. Super advanced cooktop. Tell me about it. Yeah, so this is our smart induction cooktop solution. It has over 17 Infineon products in it. We've got our touch control, which is powered by our CapSense technology for our PSOC microcontroller. We have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, so you can remotely control your, your cooktop from your phone, our mobile app that we have here. Right. And we even have a MEMS mic from Infineon, so you can even do local voice commands. So you know, your hands are dirty, you need to turn the stove on and off, you, you can do that. Oh, very cool. So I was going to start asking you why the voice control, and I think you already touched on it. Yeah, so, um, you know, basically we can do some basic things. We could say like, hello, cooktop, turn off small hob. It's turned off. And so yeah. pot's overflowing, you need to turn off the Very cool, so you're there. cutting onions, yeah, pot starts go. overflowing, you don't have to drop everything, you can just exactly. talk to it. Yep, exactly. Okay, that's cool. And tell me about the touch, touch sense, because I know that's usually an issue, water can get on yeah, things. Yeah, so, you know, you can imagine, like, you know, you're cooking, and then they say, like, you know, you just naturally, you know, I cook, I'm a little messy, I spill a little bit on there, so... You know, I still want to be able to use the touch slider and still work with the water. So imagine, you know, you know when you take your phone underwater, can't even, you drop in the water, try to use it in a swimming pool for whatever reason. You know, it doesn't work, but here, not, not a problem here. Well, you know, people might ask the sleek design, but I can tell you from personal experience, mm -hmm. my mother-in-law, actually, every time she comes over, she melts the plastic knobs. I have no <laughs> idea how she does it, but she does it. So yeah. this is a pretty cool feature. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Anything else you want to share? Yeah, in general, mobile app control. So, you know, locally, you're in the house, or you're just far away. It's just another way to control it. And a lot of things that, you know, you're expecting. So you leave the oven on and you're yeah, like, oh, you did know. I leave it on? You can check. Exactly. And so also, here is our power board. We have our IGBTs. This whole board is controlling all the power components from our reference design for the induction cooktop. Very cool. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking the time to share it. All right, thanks for stopping by today. Thanks. So, Chris, show me what you got here. This looks like a box, a robot. T tell me about it. What is it? This is our box on wheels. So here's our latest Infineon Technologies robotics demo system. We have a two kilowatt motor driver board that we've developed so that you can use it to power almost any robot. That yeah, you two can kilowatts is a lot, oh, that's yeah. for sure. Okay, okay. So in here, we're featuring our latest PSOC Control C3 uh, microcontroller. That's okay. super powerful, super versatile. And we also have our Optimus 6 MOSFETs inside of this as well. 
with the PSOC C3, we're trying to have all the tools at the hands of the developers ready to use. That includes all the libraries ready to download, pull from Lotus Toolbox, and just have everything easily configurable. So anything from your communications interface all the way to like the slew rate of the gate drivers mm -hmm. um, with our 6 cdl 7151 gate drivers, those ones can be SPI configured. And um, yeah, everything is there at the tip of your fingers. So I see this is based on silicon. I understand you guys are also working on a GAN development system. Is that correct? That's right. So here we wanted to do a little experiment. So we basically redesigned the silicon power board um, here with GAN as well. Now with GAN, we haven't seen it conventionally used in motor drives as often. And we wanted to do a comparison to see how GAN performs in, in this use case. Interesting, that'll be cool to see. And I can see just visually, the caps look smaller, so it looks like it's a little more dense. So I understand also that PSOC control is enabling some of this transition to GAN. Can you talk about that? That's right. So what comes with GAN, a device with a very high switching frequency, is a microcontroller that needs to output a very high switching frequency as well. So okay. Yeah, PSOC control, um, we're working on getting it up to two megahertz, just right for switching GAN. Oh, very cool. Neat. So I'll be interested to follow up with you and see how this, uh, this development board continues and this whole experimental platform grows. Absolutely. Stay tuned. Yeah, thank you very much. So I hope you enjoyed all those great demos. Please remember to comment below. I'll see you next time. Stay innovative.